Welcome friends, welcome fam, welcome fellow fans of Clash of Clans. It is your host, Galadon, and yes, in today's episode, Town Hall 10, we will cover what to upgrade first as we watch an account that you should never play like. Okay, so it, again, it's a do as I say, not as I do type of episode. And remember, these episodes benefit charities because you guys are liking the episodes. The last one, which could have been the last episode of No Clash Clash, got over 5,000 likes, and I only asked for 3,000. So guess what? You guys get an episode off. That's right. No minimums. We're going to keep going. Next episode, we will A, donate to charity based upon the likes that we got in the previous episodes, and it's a charity that you guys suggested and liked in the comments. And two, we will throw down another line in the sand, another threatening last episode, unless you guys take action, but I promise it's going to be relatively easy. Okay, let's focus on today's episode, and that is getting to Town Hall 10 without ever conducting an attack. I know, it's, it's brutal, it's strange, it's odd. It's an April Fool's joke gone wrong, but here we are, and I'll admit, it's actually been relatively enjoyable even for me to kind of watch and see how fast how far we can progress without going out on the offensive now it's also helped that we are not completely free to play remember what i was saying in the previous episodes was one cent per like to charity and one cent per like to the account itself we have spent nowhere near that much in fact we're around 30 bucks spent total we'll spend a little bit more today but not much, and in fact, not anything, in getting us to the Town Hall 10 upgrade. Remember, this account, it doesn't really matter if we rush. It's not going to cause us pain. We'll get crushed on defense. We won't attack. And by the way, here it is. Check this out. This was from the anniversary challenges that I got the gold grab and elixir escapade achievements. But look closely, and you can see that I have not been on the offense and somebody said that in a previous episode. They're like, show us your achievements, Galadon, so we know you're not cheating. I'm like, give me a break. What would be the motivation to cheat with this account? There's no motivation whatsoever. So let's move on. Fast forwarding through some of my favorite parts. I love to put the wall arrangements and progress-based rearrangements in fast forward just because. Okay, yes, we are doing strange things that you all question, like upgrading army camps and researching troops and spells. For no apparent reason, but who knows, maybe this account will do something else in the distant future. In the meantime, Town Hall 10 and do what I say, not what I do. This is what you should upgrade first. Go after the lab, the spell factory, the clan castle, dark elixir drill, army camps, new defenses, archer queen. Focus on offense first. That is a big key right there. Don't do what I do. That's the list. That's That right there was the most concise, quickest what to upgrade first list at Town Hall 10 that you will ever find in any episode across YouTube. And if you wanted to thank me for that, or just wanted to be a nice viewer, you could always use code Galadon before you make a purchase in any Supercell game. It helps out the channel a great deal. Thank you guys that are doing that. Thank you guys, heck, that are just actually watching the No Clash episodes. I know they're the most pointless episodes on the channel, but I'll admit, again, like I said earlier, I am enjoying this, and I'll never make an episode that I don't enjoy. So there is a point where if I'm not having fun, I'll admit it's over. And that's just the way it's always going to be. But for now, let's have some fun. Let's see how far we can get spending a minimal amount in Clash of Clans and not attacking at all. Now, I'll likely get every single gold pass. I'll probably buy each and every town hall package. Beyond that, I don't plan on spending a lot. And you'll find actually in this episode that we run short on gems and rather than just popping over to the shop and buying gems, we are going to struggle just a bit and be careful and thrifty in the way we spend. And speaking of, that also means if we have extras of something we don't really need, for instance, shovels, we are going to sell them, which is so ironic considering how desperate my main account, Galadon, is for shovels. And here I am just dumping them for a handful of gems because I needed the gems to gem the gold pass to the next builder boost okay we got a few other upgrades going on just tying things up wrapping up going on to the next day as you guys know this is weeks and weeks of content fast forwarded into one quick and easy video yes i again said there is going to be an episode number 14 and that is going to be the episode that determines whether or not the series ends 
but stay tuned for that because it's going to be a lot of fun donating to a charity that you guys suggested and i mean who's to say how far we are from town hall 11 i mean really when you think about it the only things that we really critically should be upgrading before we go to the next town hall are the collectors the mines the pumps the drills the storages and that's really about it the walls that's cosmetics we don't really care if we get raided for everything we're almost always logging out with a minimum amount of loot which is something you should be doing in your own account but we're definitely doing it even more thoroughly here because we know that we're going to get annihilated being relatively rushed now it is time to put together the first ever town hall 10 base of its kind that is right remember the statistical likelihood if you design a base freehand without any reference it is extremely unlikely that anybody else in fact the odds are like quadrillions to one that any other base has been designed the exact same way so i can with confidence tell you that this is a completely unique town hall 10 base uh, unfortunately, I can also tell you it's probably not all that effective, so we're not going to bother to put a link up unless there's extreme outcry from the comments, okay? If the comments, you know, are begging for the link for this weird, funky, not that great Town Hall 10 base, I'll throw it in there, but otherwise, it, trust me, you'll do much better with 30 seconds of searching on the internet finding a Town Hall 10 base or link or design or setup that is better at protecting trophies or loot or both. Because, yeah, there's absolutely no science behind this base. But I liked it, so there it is. Okay, let's move on. Another day, more builders coming free, of course. Now, yes, the pain is slowly increasing. And what I mean by that is the upgrades getting more expensive and getting longer are going to slow down the progress dramatically of an account that doesn't attack because again raid weekends really the only way that we are gaining loot but it's nice it's been very very nice we're gaining over a thousand raid medals every weekend so that equates to 10 million in resources so if we can pick up 10 million a week just from the weekend raids then the progress is going to continue at a reasonable pace. And I'm pretty excited about that, not gonna lie. We are upgrading a lot of the lower level, like level one type defenses, trying to get those out of the way. Just like we upgraded the walls, you saw that earlier, getting the noob walls out of the way as well. We have, surprisingly, lots of runes. The runes came from the gold pass, from clan games, from the anniversary. So we're using those runes as much as possible and when we can we're grabbing the discounts in the gold pass but at the same time like i said a few minutes ago i'm not spending thousands of gems to gem the whole gold pass to finish so therefore we're not getting those 20 percent discounts i think right now we're at 10 or maybe 15 so the walls of you know they're getting there they look pretty good we've got a lot of good looking walls for town hall 9 uh but oh and also yes the heroes we had a whole rune of dark elixir use that and i know this is painful don't look okay don't ever ever do that unless you need to and that is use a book of heroes on a hero upgrade that takes a day or a day and a half right is that painful that's painful to me for like no cash clash gold pass clash to watch somebody use three books of heroes on such a low level archer queen but let's move on let's talk about the status report where we have seen the trophies gradually yeah. rise because, well, obviously the defenses are getting better and maybe the base isn't the worst after all. I don't know. The gems. Now, again, I haven't made a gem purchase, so we're just going with what we Ooh. have. We're under 100 gems, which, you know, kind of sucks, but we'll think about it in the future. The heroes, lots of levels right there. And, of course, my next yeah. goals are to get you guys to like and subscribe to the next episode. So, Galifam. Thank you for sticking around. Get out there. Make the best of the rest of your day. Be kind to other people, animals, and the planet. And I hope to see every last one of you back here again tomorrow for more Full Attacks. Garridon, no clash, clash. I'm glad you finally found something that you're good at.